What is up, internet? It's your boy, Tenku. And today, we are going to be doing another manga that should be turned into anime. Now, before we do, of course, subscribe to the channel. Like those videos. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagrams. I've gotten a few subscriber-requested vids, which I'll be doing soon. Um, so, look forward to those. And with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. Today, we're going to be doing a manga that I believe should be turned into anime, and we're going to kind of be continuing with the theme of adorable orphans, I guess you could say, from our, my previous video. And the name of this manga is The Skinny Girl and the Chubby Boy. It's kind of a unique manga because it's not set in Japan. It's actually set in Italy. And the art style is its a little different, but I kind of like the way they do it. And so let me get into the synopsis here. You have Julia, who is a homeless girl in this town in Italy. Um, she's treated like crap. When you first meet her, she's digging out the trash to try to find food, and these kids are picking on her, throwing stuff at her, you know, calling her names, beating her up. Everybody, everybody in town is like everybody. The adults, the kids are saying she's diseased and she's, you know, nasty, and so she, nobody wants to be around her. You know, she looks, you know, like flea bag written, flea written, and all that stuff. And so she's not looking good, and she's really skinny because she's starving. She's homeless. She has a dog with her. That's named Alex. It just, you know, it's not like she chose to have the dog. The dog just follows her around, tries to protect her a little bit, but it's a little tiny dog. It's not going to do much. So one day, while she is digging through the trash, trying to find food, and, you know, the, the usual bully, you know, kids in the neighborhood are picking on her, throwing things at her, calling her names, uh, you meet Dan. And Dan is our chubby boy uh, from the title's namesake. And he drives off the kids a little bit, saying, hey, don't be so mean to her, you know, you guys are being a bunch of jerks, get out of here. So he kind of runs them off, and he says to her, hey, come with me to my restaurant, and I'll feed you. And he's a pretty portly kid, and she's kind of off it by it because nobody's ever been kind to her. And he's like, don't worry, just come with me, and I'll make sure you get fed to my restaurant. And that is the beginning of our story. Dan brings her home and tells his dad, hey, you know, I saw this girl, we need to feed her, and, you know, things like that. And... Dan and his father are very kind souls, very kind people. And so his father, like, you know, hugs his son because he's proud of him and creates uh, a dinner for them. And they, Julia's reaction is amazing. You should read it because the way they draw it, it's, it's amazing because nobody's ever been so kind to her. She actually has a full meal in front of her that she didn't have to dig out through the trash and all that stuff. And so while she's eating, Dan convinces his father, who well, doesn't have to do too much convincing of it, to um, take her in. So she can help with the restaurant, so on and so forth. And that is pretty much the basis for our story. It's about Julia, Dan, and Dan's father working in the restaurant. She's helping them out. How she's overcoming all, all her, you know, past demons about thinking people don't want her around. You know how these things happen. And that Dan and his father are overcoming things from like the people in the town saying how they got a diseased person at the restaurant because they took in this homeless girl and all the nefarious rumors that are going about because of, you know, people are jerks and want to spread rumors and try to drag other people down anytime anybody else shows some kind of stuff like that. So that's why I really, really like it. The best part of this manga is how they draw it. So everybody knows manga is drawn in black and white and every once in a while you have some colors. Well, Julia has blue eyes. So sometimes there's panel where there's artists when they were when they draw her and he just colors just her eyes and say if she's wearing a blue dress her dress will be blue or if she's holding like a bouquet of blue flowers just the flowers will be blue and it makes him pop really really well and it shows you how adorable julia really is and you know of course julia kind of falls for dan a little bit because of you know how kind he is to her and he's always trying to protect her and stuff like that and there's a lot of stuff you learn about Dan too, some of the complexes that he might have, because um, let's remember, this guy, he's not a skinny kid, he's, he's a chubby boy, it's the name of the manga, and um, he doesn't go to school, why he doesn't go to school, things like that, and about them living together, growing together, and the dad overseeing them, make sure nothing bad happens to him, making sure that they're always staying positive, and no matter how bad things get, or how, you know, how much 
crap people may talk to stay positive and don't let the haters hate on you you know and make sure that they're well taken care of because julia you know doesn't want to cause them any trouble at all and so that makes for a couple good chapters and so i really think that it would make a great anime because of this they do a few full color pages and i do like the way everybody looks fully colored but if they in the anime if they do the parts like he does in the the manga when it's just black and white but they only color her eyes and then make them pop with like whatever kind of surrounding blue items might be around i think that would look really good in animation you know like it could be full color anime you know but just on the certain parts it's like the black and white with the popping of the blue uh, blue eyes out and everything else and i think it would look really really good and plus it's a great story it's a great heartwarming just slash life story there's nothing itchy about it you know there is nothing over complicated it's just a story about a kid and his father who are very kind taking in a homeless girl and she's helping him out with a restaurant and I think that's a good message to put out there you know about the whole being kind to each other especially with a lot of stuff that's going on today so with all that said guys tell me what you guys think you know in the comments below on the Twitter Facebook and Instagrams don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. If, the more people subscribe, the more we can get out there, the more people we can touch, the more people we can reach. And so I'd greatly appreciate everybody that is subscribing. And again, with all that said, everybody, let's have an awesome, awesome day.